The Compassion Grand Round really provides a forum to bring in speakers who have stories, insights, and teachings to share with us on compassion. So if you would take a minute and put your feet flat on the floor and put down papers and pens, turn off cell phones, and if you're comfortable with it, allowing your eyes to close. Or if that's not comfortable for you, then just a soft gaze down at your lap. Mindful leadership is a training of the mind in the context of influence and of leading in the complexity of today's world. And in this moment, if you would take a moment to call to mind someone who for you embodies leadership excellence. Being in today's world means that we are dealing with a changing environment, an environment that changes at the speed of internet seconds. And we're dealing with a world that's shrinking more and more every day. And so being able to lead and to influence in that environment requires us to train all of our capabilities of our mind, including the innate capabilities that are most directly related to leading with excellence. As you call this person to mind, what is it about him or her that made them come to mind? What is it that made you say, this is the person that embodies leadership excellence? What are the characteristics? What are the qualities? And let's just call out a few qualities. What came up for you? What came to mind? What made this leader that you called to mind exceptional? Kindness. Kindness. What else? Honesty. Honesty, yes. Humility, compassionate. compassionate. I think when you are leading with excellence or you're influencing with excellence in whatever field you are, there are two things that are consistent about how you go through your life. One is you have a very deep connect ability to connect, not only connecting to yourself, others, and the community. And it's a felt sense when you're in the presence of someone who is leading with excellence, you're feeling their presence, you're feeling their leadership presence. So having that sense of connectivity would be the first thing. And then the second thing I would say is you have an ability to skillfully initiate change. So when you're leading with excellence, you can skillfully initiate change, which means that you have the ability to hold ambiguity. You don't always have to have a snap decision. To be able to ask in a pause, in a moment, what's called for now. Not what we always do, not what we did last year, but to actually reflect in that pause, in that moment on what's called for right now. And most of all, it's to begin to notice when we're living on autopilot. Everyone in the healthcare or in a healthcare position, no matter what your role is, you're in a position of influencing, and the influence you may have may very well affect someone's well-being and health pretty directly. So I truly love to work with healthcare providers in developing mindful leadership because part of what can happen is in this training, in this discipline, when someone undertakes to learn this, to develop their mind in this way, now they have the ability to learn how to let go, let go of the last patient that I met with because now I need to attend to this patient. For now, I need to let those thoughts be set aside so I can attend to fully to what's here. When um, she said that you need to take a purposeful moment, um, it really struck a chord with me because um, so often in work, uh, whether in the hospital or in the community, uh, you know, we get caught up in things and uh, don't always take that moment to take a deep breath and figure out, okay, which way do I need to go from, from the heart, not from got to get this paper done or that, you know, phone call returned. It's like, what, what does the heart call me to do in, in this situation? Presence is felt when someone's fully there. That's true for us as well. When we're not fully present for someone, they can feel it as well. So this cultivation of mindful leadership is about cultivating leadership presence and specifically focusing on focus, clarity, creativity, and compassion. Anyone in the room still believe you can multitask? Neuroscience has shown us brain is not capable of multitasking. 
One of the most striking things is how seldom people are actually engaged in mindful listening. Uh, when there's a meeting, a discussion, when we learn how frequently we're off topic, it's pretty astonishing that we get anything done at all. So observing that there are ways of fixing that. I think is very important and exciting. So the Institute for Mindful Leadership offers this training in three different ways. One is an intensive training that's a residential retreat for four days. The second way that mindful leadership is taught is to all levels of an organization through a seven-week course called Mindful Leadership and Wellness. And then the third one is a two-day non-residential retreat which is called Leading Differently. During the retreats and the courses, it's a combination of meditation practices where we'll practice with a, in a whole variety of ways. There's some mindful stretching, so we're using our bodies as our uh, anchor to the present. We begin to become more accustomed to sensing the body through the mindful stretching. And then we're doing specific leadership exercises. We are exploring in a very safe container what are my principles? What are my principles of leadership? What are my values and ethics? Je suis très très heureuse d'être venue parce que je me suis dit mon Dieu quelle belle suite logique à ce que j'enseigne. Les concepts ce sont des choses que j'enseigne et puis peut-être le lien que j'ai fait c'est que si quelqu'un allait à une formation comme ça pouvait revenir dans sa communauté et vraiment plonger et puis entreprendre une démarche de huit semaines et puis pour vraiment approfondir la matière alors j'ai trouvé ça and we can, in those purposeful pauses, have that spaciousness to stop the churn and to kind of rest in this awareness so we might see something new. And what I hope people will take away is that the idea of leadership is not restricted to the top 10 people in the organization, but that to become a mindful leader, to become an influencer, is something that is a capability that we all hold and that we all have. So I just want to say thank you for your attention. Thanks for having the courage to share this uh, gift, um, not just with us, but with the, the world. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. That's very nice. thank you.